Hey everyone, this is Saktov, narrating a 1 vs 1 between myself and Det. I'm in the cream as core, and he's in the orange as arm. You'll see some pretty weird stuff from both of us, actually, but uh, I do a weasel flood. And um, uh, Det does a capture bot rush, which is just the sort of crazy thing Det would do. And I've not something I've ever seen before. I'm skipping loads of towers before factory, making a lot of wind, so I don't need to stop and slow down and worry about anything, and just going straight for the factory, then straight for a whole bunch of weasels. Well, Det gets up a terraform block and puts an, a light laser tower on top, and the reason he does that is so that it has a better angle of fire over the windmills, so that anything that gets behind the windmills, the laser tower will still be able to shoot from, and they won't be blocked by the windmills. Now our labs are going up, and I'm just going to be burning off most of my um, uh, starting metal on weasels, and he'll be um, doing something similar with capture bots, which is sort of a, a rush and counter rush situation. Here comes my first weasel, and I'm putting up a laser tower here. I didn't really need to, because uh, I'm going to be making so many weasels. Any sort of rush, early rush he sends um, is just going to get caught up by my weasels. I'm not going to stop him. I get actually two laser towers, and um, he's now assisting his lab for the. Um, uh, for the reactors, for the capture bots. And I'm pumping out a lot of weasels here, and you can see I'm going to do a late expand. I'm not pushing with my commander like um, like you would most of the time. Um, and now comes my um, constructor. Here he comes. And now that I've got my constructor going up, I send my flood out so that my army is complete. And at the same time, he sends out his um, his rush of, uh, of of mine layers. I send the scout in there just to check out what's going on. And um, I see what he's doing, but I'm, I'm not quite sure why why he'd build, be building there. But here comes the rush, and it takes out almost everything. It's explosions everywhere. His radar, most of his windmills, even his laser tower. And all he's got left is some uh, peewees, and you see he's rebuilding now and um, reclaiming, but didn't leave much reclaim because weasels tend to sort of explode a lot, and so do windmills. So he doesn't have much. Um, he needs to replace his he's stalling metal already. I've already got a heap, heap more weasels, and I haven't walked my commander, so his capture bot rush, which is going coming happening now, which might have might have worked if my commander hadn't been there. But since I did a rush, I expanded a little bit late and kept my commander at home, and that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the game. Generally, I prefer to keep my commander. He's still repairing here. Generally, I prefer to keep my commander at home and assist my factory because I prefer to, I prefer to push with units and keep my commander safe. But sometimes, most of the time, you just need the power of the commander on the front line taking territory. But with that rush, I thought it would scare him, but he wasn't scared. He wasn't really scared at all. He just bumped out a bunch of peewees and went straight to attack my standard expansion line, which is along here. That's the standard compush line, but I decided to go, because I'm expanding with constructors, I'm guarding it with with weasels. His weasels get his, his peewees get pretty badly killed right there by my weasels, and you see, I'm expanding in multiple directions at once with all these constructors. Because when you do a rush, it scares the opponent, makes them go defensive, makes them uh, have to rebuild, and it's the perfect time to just do rapid expansion, relatively you know, relatively undefended. And I've switched from the weasels to mostly I'm mixing I'm mixing ravagers in now. Ravager assault tanks, and I have some riot tanks as well, because I've seen that he's gone peewees, and weasels are alright, but they're a bit light, and they really can't take, they really can't punch home the def on the uh, against defenses like laser towers. You saw how many he had one laser tower and he, plus his commander, and you saw all those weasels die. But see, he was making a little a little scout thing. He was going to try and get this max, which is a pretty high value max pair. But you see, I saw it with my um, weasels. See, I'm really, really pretty far ahead at this point. I've got a much more expansion. It's got light laser towers. I've got weasels. I'm scouting him. I know where his com is. I know it's there. I lose a fair few weasels to that, but it does matter. I scouted him. I try and send in a ravager to take out this expansion here. So he's playing on the on, on the defensive. That means I have you know all the initiative, all the advantage, and that just kills that constructor. 
but you know he's already got the expansion. I, I pulled back because I was afraid of those peewees, which he'd pulled back anyway, so I didn't need to actually worry about that. But that's all right. So I try to make, to try to take out this expansion, try to pressure, just pressure him further, keep on the offensive, and I managed to do it before he sends uh, in peewees. Now watch this though. I spot this cloak max. And he self-destructs it. He actually self-destructs it to catch all of my weasels and kill them with uh, with where with um peewees. So he's made an excellent recovery here. Really, considering how successful my rush was and how completely unsuccessful his rush was, he's making a relatively good recovery. But I still really am in the lead with a lot more expansion than he has. Nobody's taken the middle yet, but this. This attack here takes out my major expansion, this this um this expansion route. And he slips around my light laser towers. I, I send an attack up here just to take out this. And I, I, see, I notice him, so I start pulling back. Because if I'm making a geothermal power plant here, I don't have much energy. In fact, I start stalling at this point. If you see my economy, I'm stalling everything. Because I have my commander assisting, and when your commander assists, you tend to stall everything because he has so much build power. And um, I'm trying to get this geothermal power plant up, but I didn't really make enough energy to support the production of geothermal power plants. This is, see, I've taken out this, this expansion now. I'm pressing home on his main base. Taking out his laser towers, and I'm trying to clear that up so I can send the weasels in to kill, to get around behind here. But he's got D-Gun, he's got his commander. So I thought, oh well, you know, I can't pull back because core vehicles have pretty rubbish turn rates. So I thought I'd just do, do as much damage to his commander as possible so that he wouldn't be able to use it much more. And you see I'm getting now to 50% health. That means he, he has to think twice before he attacks again. And these guys, I probably should have just pulled back with these guys. But I do now and still end up losing it. And now I go for this expansion again. Taking out because he's re-expanded there. And I just keep him harassed, keep him pressed. He's gone air, and that's just, at this stage in the game, that is just incredibly intelligent. If I wasn't stalling so badly, this is just a real example of really horrible economic management by me because of this horrible stall. And see, I'm making another set of wins because I just realised how badly I'm stalling. I realised I'm not going to use that geothermal power plant, which was um, really important because I overexpanded in metal. And because since I had too much metal and I didn't expand my energy properly, I ended up with this. Then I try and get a geothermal power plant rather than exp expanding something more incremental like wind generators and yeah so he's got so this force really just forces me to go slashes um because that's the only thing that slashes and with his with his air and this really just really just stops me up if he'd attack my base more aggressively he'd probably have gotten it because it takes me ages to get this sla first slasher and this first pulverizer because I'm stalling you so bad which is just an example of uh, I just played lazy thought I had it in the bag And didn't pay much attention to my energy, and now he's just taking out all my expansion, all those gains I made. Which is, you know, it's it's good on his part to go air like this, because air can be sort of like a desperate measure. If if the enemy hasn't countered it, it can it can take a lot of territory or, or take a lot of territory from the enemy. It's not very good at expanding itself, but it can take a lot of territory from the enemy. Now, what he's doing here is, you see, his base looks pretty miserable at this point, but. He's making a vehicle plant, and he he's doesn't really have much energy to make that vehicle plant on. But that's really crucial here, because I'm going slashes, just spamming nothing but slashes, to try and stop his air from raining freely over my territory. And you see he's taking out all of my expansion. Luckily, he didn't spot my geothermal power plant. If he'd spotted my geothermal power plant, I probably would have been out of the game, honestly. Which, you know, just shows how... um effective his air was or how dumb my stall was but I uh, put up um, Razor's Kiss anti-air I was trying to not make slashes this game because people are saying oh slashes overpowered slashes overpowered you know it's too good versus versus everything but you know he's gonna go air I don't have any choice I have to make slasher so I wanted to try and win core vehicles without making slasher but you know versus yeah, I don't have any choice because it's the best anti-air. 